Hello! Today I want to cover some of the differences between the iPhone SE third generation and the last generation, the second generation of that version iPhone. This recently came out. The biggest thing is it now supports 5G signal. Now, um, that's great and all, but 5G isn't perfected and a lot of your areas don't even have 5G and a lot of your plans are still only 4G data capable. So even though you have an, a 5G device then you could have 5G service where you are, if you're not paying for that service, that 5G data service on your plan, you are going to get 4G speeds. Anyway, so really it's not very beneficial unless you're paying for 5G and you are in an area with 5G signal and you have to be close to all the towers. It doesn't have bit much range, um, so a lot of people aren't unless you're in a huge city. Um, another thing is the battery uh, difference. Um, the second generation had a horrible battery. I That was the worst thing with that phone. I, it was a great phone other than that. Uh, they're really durable. Um, they're, they're good phones, the SEs are. Um, but the battery was bad. I mean, it was only uh, 18, 1821 milliamp. Right, yes, yes, right there per hour. So, only 1821, that's not good. I mean, a lot of phones are around 3,000, at least 2,500. So, you can't judge this too well because you don't know how much power the phone is taking. If the phone doesn't take much power, this might be a fine, fine battery. Um, but this phone still took a lot of power because it still had the same processor as the iPhone 11, which was nice. It was still a great phone, but it still took a lot of battery. Um, and so not having that much battery, really, it drained quick on these. Um, another common issue on the second generation ones was the screens would uh, have issues a lot. like. Like I had a customer um, that got one and the screen just went bad right away. I mean, they had it probably a couple weeks and didn't drop it or nothing. And it just started having all these uh, like miscoloration in the colors. It was kind of weird and it would like freak out, like spaz out almost um, and just get like static in the screen. And Apple actually had to place the screen under warranty so that's the good thing too though is if you buy one of these new ones usually they'll have issues within that first year and it's covered under warranty unless you've dropped it and stuff uh, and there's obvious damage um, but that's a good thing um, covering some other differences really there's not much other than of course, it's got the newer processor. It has the same processor as the iPhone 13, which is amazing. You know, um, I'm surprised they do that, the A15 chip. Um, I'm going to go to the iPhone 13s. And um, let's see here. The chips, yeah, exactly the same chip, which is just surprising to me, you know. Um, I'm surprised they don't do the A14 or something a little bit cheaper, but uh, they're com you know they're in competition. I'll, I'll say they're going to try to do the best they can to compete with the other vendors. Um, and of course, the iPhone 14 is going to come out in the fall, and it will be the new next processor. So this won't be current forever. Um, and this is the budget phone, so. I'm surprised really they still do the current processor right now, but it makes sense. They're, you know, competing. Um, in case anyone's wondering, this here app I'm using is called Mac Tracker. 
it's free and they accept donations and stuff. Um, you can download it from the App Store on your Mac. Uh, it's kind of nice because you can go through all Mac models and stuff and uh, get all the specifications and detailed information on them. I would definitely suggest doing this if you're into technology and want to know Apple products better. You can see all the old generations and current even. They take a little bit, a few months or so after something's out, been released to update. But they regularly update the app. Um, so I'm going to go back here to the second generation SE right here. Um, you know, body-wise, between the third gen and the second gen, it's the same. There's no difference, hardly. I, actually, no difference. It's exactly the same. So, case-wise, screen size, everything is the same. Still has the home button. A lot of people like that, but you're going to have to get used to no home button. I, I see that going away. I, I'm surprised it hasn't yet, uh, other than they're um, targeting the people who don't who want the home button still with this phone. You know, this is the only one they can buy. So, uh, that's why they've kept the home button, I think. You know, uh, I see it going away, though, at some point. But it's good. You know, it took me a couple weeks to get used to no home button after going from... I had an iPhone uh, 7 Plus forever. I didn't want to change. And then I went to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And it didn't have the home button, and it took a couple weeks to get used to. Um, but I like it now. I, I it's hard going back now to a home button, you know, relearning that. So I would suggest trying to change because I think that's going to be kind of the future of them. Um, yeah, really, there's not much difference. You know, just your battery processor and. The battery is bigger. I wanted to say that. The battery is bigger on the uh, third generation phones. Now, I don't know how much bigger and how much more battery life there is. Because you're also getting a faster processor. Now, they could be more energy efficient, too, processor. They improve that, too. Um, so, yeah, it could be that it's either the same battery life or a little bit better uh, than the previous second generation. Um, as you see here, the colors, you got same red, starlight white, or midnight blackish um, color. And um, I really like the red. I know some people are not a fan at all. I've always been the product red fan. I think it looks great. Um, but a lot of people, resale value and stuff, you don't get the red usually, but some people are into it and will pay for it. So you pick what you want there. Um, yeah, really not much else differences between them. Cameras are the same. Um, yeah, pretty much the same. But as you see here, you can see all the specs, cameras, and stuff line up with these. Uh, front camera there. Then that's the rear camera. See, 7 megapixel, 12 front. No, I mean, sorry. 12 rear, 7 front. And so that's the same. Um, yeah, not much else. You know, I haven't got my hands on one yet in real life, um, but by looking at all the specs and stuff, body's all the same. So um, I think it's going to be an improvement though on battery, maybe just a little bit, and of course the 5G thing. Um, so that's, that's about it. Um, if you see here, Video playback on here was 13 hours. Here it says 15 hours. So, same thing. Streamed. It's it's more. You know, I shouldn't say same thing. It's more. So, two hours more. Um, so, it's got 
audio playback 10 hours more so yeah it it's got um, more battery life um, so it is a little bit bigger battery I saw a thing where they took one apart and they seen that it's a bigger battery uh, physically bigger battery um, so it's it's more than the 1821 I don't know what it is exactly the new one but I do know that it's more by the size difference physically so let me know if you have any questions in the comments but I would definitely suggest this phone if you, you, you still won't get as great of battery power as going to the 13 or higher um, but for the budget consumer this is a good option now it's going to be better than doing the second generation since the battery issue there uh, with it being so small so I would suggest this um, don't expect to benefit from the 5G capability unless you're paying for a 5G capable plan at least that's how it works for Verizon I don't know quite well on the other vendors but that's how Verizon is so um, that's what I use and you gotta pay for that 5G data plan to benefit your, your phone will still say that it's connected 5G but you won't get 5G data speeds um, so you need to know that first if you are buying this phone just because you want 5G service all right, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you.